Good morning, folks. How are you doing? Welcome back to Football Digest Daily. My name is Nyash, and I'm doing all right. I hope you're having a fri- fantastic Friday morning. Um, so yesterday we had a couple of games going on. Actually, just three. Let me start with uh, this one, uh, <laughs> the big one. Yeah, the big one was between Liverpool and Manchester City. Of course, Liverpool are the Premier League champions. City are the former champions. City gave uh, Liverpool uh, Liverpool a guard of honor as expected. But did you see those guys? Like, did, I. Did you call you on a of God of Honor? Is there a God of Honor eco eco na salt mob guy, yo man? Hey, ata wana si wako na club ban. Misika ota mendi alikuwa tu ameka hivi na shake kabotul flani alikuwa na kuhu. You may be thinking the dude is clapping. He was not clapping. He was not clapping clearly. City uh, players are not feeling the vibe of a God of Honor, and they showcase that in the game. Eh 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 eh. Sema kutaramki a Liverpool. Wa la la la. I don't recall seeing Liverpool getting walloped like that. They were totally walloped. I recall at some point in time when they were three 0 by half time. Kudamse kwa football I just WhatsApp group and kwa Angoja, we are going to win this one four <laughs> three. You can bet that was the last time I heard of that, guys. Jamu one akio me comment kwa group toka your time. Me potea me kunyo maju kondani. You know, crazy shit. And this crazy idea that Liverpool had of you know fans, especially fans, yeah, they had of trying to compare this Liverpool side with us, not invincible. Don't you ever dare, okay? Don't you ever dare. First of all, this Liverpool side had already taken an L before yesterday, as not invincibles had no L, okay. As if that was not enough, they took another L yesterday, four nil against former champions. When they are already the champions, okay. When Liverpool are already the champions, it's okay. Arsenal won the game with four league games to go. We never took an L. Never took an L. Liverpool have taken an L. Two Ls now. Now that season is so don't you ever try to compare at your oh, GEO oh, if if this one that G at your G Van Dijk and Gakwa Yosko the Arsenal is doing it was G Nani at your eh 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 eh. If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, everybody would enjoy a Merry Christmas. So there's no this shit of uh, Liverpool. Liverpool fans must how your story. Don't you compare us and us invincibles with this 1920 squad, okay? Mkochini kualiko, mkochini, and just stay there. Muli niuti jana sana, but I was also ex- excited kuona muki pigwa. I mean, it's kumuki la- the last time people were pigwa nili hata your game. Yeah, I watched it. Nili hata. I didn't watch it. So yesterday I did catch it, and that was great. So of course, City showed that they, they, I feel like City are just. They just wanted to wipe the floor with Liverpool, but they were like, "Wow, and you rush him by," and they did, and they did, and they did so in style. All right, so that was that. Then we had, I'm sure guys like Salota are wiping the floor with Eric right now. Piga kama unawa. Um, what else? Any, any other talking point from that game? And you could see by there at the end of the game, uh, Klopp was a little edgy. You know, he was a little edgy. And he will go and do him say, "Aki poki wa toki dogo yu as a bust." I'm sure he went nuts on those guys in the dressing room. I'm willing to bet, or maybe he didn't. No time will tell. Then before that, there was this comedy show that was going on at Brama Lane of Sheffield versus Spurs. Eh eh, eh na kusho jana jana ilikuwa a heck of a day, a heck of an evening, you know. So Spurs were playing Sheffield United, and of course both teams were, I think, number eight and nine. And eh, Sheffield bana Sheffield jana wa miamkas juu na mgugani wa mepiga wa majama three nil and and it's not just about them winning three one yeah it's uh, they actually won three one it's not about them winning three it's how they did like all the goals that they scored as in eh ilikuwa tu tapin wana fungua spurs wana fungua wana panga kama kuni alafu bang kiboko bao ya kwanza wana fungua wana piga tena wana fungua as in zilikuwa tu tapina majama wana chenga yani wana ingia ndani ya box inaacha tu ni tapin muse help yourself tapin oli magbani tapin the only other guy who did not score tapin is uh, the second guy i think who is a defender overlapping center backs but the way he took that goal that was brilliant was eh hey, jana spurs wamefunguliwa wamepangwa kama kuni kawa na pigwa tu maviboko pangwa tena pigwa tu maviboko eh hey, hadi mourinho had nothing to say you know, like Mourinho yesterday was being asked question. I don't want to say. I don't want to talk about it. I'll be in big trouble if I say. Uh, I want to be on the bench next day. But you know, if I talk about it, I'll be in big. What trouble? You're already in trouble. You're already in trouble. And I'm sure Spurs were thinking, what the hell did he get this guy for? I mean, why did he fire for Pochettino for this guy? Ah, yeah, come on. But he scored uh, a consolation goal. Hurricane scored one. But you know, you get the feeling. You you kind of get why Mourinho was that agitated because Kunabawali. Ilikuwa cancelled off by VR, which was a clean goal. 
and of course that kind of goal changes the momentum of a game most likely changes the momentum of a game uh, but it was chopped off yesterday by the yeah? Mourinho alikuwa askia kuchizi alikuwa askia kuchizi kwanza anasema sasa hata referee mwenye tunaonanga kwa kiwanja that's the assistant referee the real referee is somewhere tucked in, in the house in London St George's Park and shit he was in, he was he was absolutely mad about it and you get the feeling why now as far as uh, I think aid Sheffield on Mepanda, I think they are now sixth or seventh in the Premier League now, if I'm not wrong. I think they're seventh. And yeah, that's what it is. Then yesterday we had Real Madrid taking uh, on Hetafe, a Madrid derby. And I think it's fair to say Madrid now have lift off. Lift off, you know, for getting the La Liga title. They are now four points clear of Barcelona. I don't, I don't see Barcelona overturning that. And I think there are four games to go there. No chance. No chance. Barcelona have to win all the games remaining and hope Madrid don't win. Because Madrid, if Barcelona fails to win one more game, Madrid will need to win two out of the next four. And they'll be, you know, good to go. And Madrid now just need to, need, they just need to win three games out of the remaining four. And they will have the La Liga title again. So it's going to be amazing to see what's going to happen there. So that's all for now, folks. And the transfer market, um, anything worth talking about, of course. Uh, Mikel Arteta was asked about Thomas Party and he was tight lipped about it. Um, but yeah, even Sky Sports were reporting that we are now pursuing him. Um, yeah, nothing more than that. I, don't, I have not had anything to do with Manchester United yet. Uh, the Bado links uh, Jack Grealish, they're still hovering around, so time will tell on that one. Uh, Liverpool, just mm, catch the same with Chelsea. Yeah, so I, I guess it's only Thomas Party that is making headlines, especially for Arsenal. Nothing more, nothing less. All right, that's all for now, folks. Have a fantastic Friday. Uh, here we can kuna magim kali sana. Wah, kwanza kesho. Wah, la la la. A big game is going down at Molin New Stadium. Arsenal is traveling there. Ita kwa no mare kuruka. So, yeah, I'm kind of nervous and excited about it at the same time. That's all for now, folks. Have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic weekend. God bless and take care.